Hello everyone, here in this video I am going to show you that how you can display images on the basis of the color swatch which you choose. So on the product page when you are switching the colors, so uh, we already know that we want only same color images displaying on the product page. So other images should hide when you are in your mobile view so only in the sliding time uh, you should see only that's that color images and other images should be hidden so uh, this is the uh, down theme version 15 so uh, in the old versions i already published the videos but this was the latest one i recently solved it so i will show you step by step that how you can do it into your store without knowing any kind of coding so just copy and paste so let me show you the preview like how it looks right now. So if I'm going to my store and here is a product and you can see that all the color, uh, colors are displaying here. So I have white, black and uh, ice blue. But what I exactly want is that uh, when I switch the color, so only that color images should be uh, appearing here. And uh, for example, I am in my mobile view. So here you can see that if I'm sliding, all the other colors are also displaying. So what exactly we want is that uh, all the other colors should be hidden, but only white color should be displayed. All right. So let me show you how we can do that. So you should go back to the uh, dashboard first of all. So I'm going to install the fresh version of the down theme. So you should click on add. So the fresh version of the down theme 15.0.2 is uh, installed now. Let me publish it and then I will show you the preview like how it looks. So for example, I'm going to the preview and you will see for example, this is the product and this is how it looks right now. So what exactly we want is that uh, all the images should be hidden. So let's go back to the customize first and here you will see that we have for example, this product you should go there and click on this product information i am going to make it little bit smaller and i wanted to display the layout as a thumbnail carousel so it will show like this and in the mobile view it should show thumbnails and then click on save now if you will see here you will see that the images are displaying here and all the other colors are also over there so we are interested to uh, hide these colors so you should go back to the dashboard again and uh, the first thing is that you should uh, have to put the alt text to all the uh, products. So what does it, um, it mean? You should go to the products. For example, this is the uh, product which I choose. So you should click on it and make sure that all those images should be uploaded here first according to the color. And then after you should have to click on any of the uh, image and you can see that we have an alt text so here in this input box we need to put the color so which color for example this color is ice blue so i'm going to copy this ice blue color from here then clicking here and let me paste it and then you can save the changes so similarly you can move the image from here paste that color save the image uh, save the alt text value again i am putting the new alt text and this is also the ice blue then after we have this black so again go back and you should copy this black color from here click on this black image paste that alt text save the changes and similarly you should put for all the black colors so you can actually add uh, to all those uh, images which we have according to, to the color so all these black colors i have added and then after you should go for the white color. So you make sure that you should copy the name from here. Exactly the same name should be there. If you are missing any spelling or uh, there is a case sensitive, then uh, there is a problem. So we need to exactly match this thing. So finally we have done this. So this was the first step. The second step is that you should go to online store and here you should actually uh, duplicate the theme. So right now you can see that we have three dots. Click on it and duplicate the theme. I have already duplicated. So I have don't, I don't need to duplicate it. Actually uh, the uh, purpose of duplication is that uh, later on if you want any uh, 
uh, if you want to roll it back to its original version so then you have the option of that so then after you should click on edit code and here we have some folders and files so i have already written a documentation you should follow that here is document.txt so the first step was that uh, we had to update all text which i already did for all those all those product images so similarly for example i did for uh, one image I mean I, I did for one product so you should do for all the all the other products also the same way like I did then after the second step is go to snippets open product dash main dash gallery dot liquid so let me open that file so here you should search product dash media dash gallery open this file then after we have some steps to follow so the first thing is add attribute data dash main dash color equals to double quotes in first ul tag so basically if you are scrolling it down and in the line number 59 you will see a ul tag and inside of it you need to paste man dash uh, data dash man dash color and then after the second thing is add class parent url man in this ul also so actually in the same way here is the class just before the product underscore media you should paste that class name and put space so this is a new class which we have just now added all right then after the next step is paste below code inside the first li open tag so i am going to copy this and you should paste it in the first li so this is the li tag and inside of it inside the opening tag i mean uh, here it is uh, the, the tag and just above it you should here is actually the uh, curly uh, closing uh, here is the closing bracket but before this you should paste this code which I have just copied then after the next step is paste below code inside the first ally open tag which are under loop so actually we have the loop also so let me show you just now we added this code but if you will scroll it down you will see that we have uh, we have this loop and below it we have another ally tag so this li tag has this closing bracket so above it i am going to paste that new code which i just copied from here now the third step is go to last ul tag so basically we have two ul tags the first one is for the main images and the second one is for the smaller images for these images and for these images so now we are going to uh, scroll it down and you will see that we have another ul tag also so here is that ul tag so that is in line number 203 or maybe somewhere like this okay so in this also what we exactly going to do is we need to put this data dash color equals to double quote so this is an attribute which we are going to add it right here then after we have parent ul ul so you should copy this and inside of it we have a class thumbnail dash list so just before it you should put parent ul and then put space then after we have paste below code inside the first li opening tag so again you need to do the same thing copy this and you have to scroll a little bit down and this is the first li tag so you should paste that uh, code here then after the second code is uh, to add inside the loop li so scroll a little bit down and you will see that we have this loop and inside of this loop we have another li tag which is which has this closing bracket just above it we are going to paste that code okay then you need to save the changes once the changes are saved then we have the last step which is we need to replace the uh, replace one file which is media-gallery.js so i am going to open this file and i am going to paste it replace it here actually so gallery you should search here gallery and you will see media-gallery.js and you need to replace this complete file with the latest code so i have pasted it and then you can save the changes once the changes are saved then you can preview the changes click on preview scroll a little bit down click on this and here we go now you can see that we have all these color images and if you will click here it will work fine if you will click on white so only white color images are displaying if you are clicking on ice blue so only ice blue images are displaying if you are uh, going to mobile view you will see that only ice blue color images are displaying here 
and if you are clicking on white so only white images are displaying if you are clicking on black so you can see that only black images are displaying so that's how this is working fine so if you are facing any issue or something you can directly ask me i will help you out in that if you have any other theme then still this will work so you should refresh it back and for mobile view for desktop view both it is working and if you have any problem then definitely you can uh, message me i have already given the details in the description so if you have any new feature to develop then still you can ask me if you have different theme then still i can solve it for you so you can uh, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram and uh, Facebook. And I have also created a WhatsApp group which you can join. So thank you once again. See you in the next video.